guys, welcome back to Huntress Healing Intuitive Coaching. Today's deck walkthrough is the Oracle of Light and Dreams. I was in the store and I saw this and I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. Um, so taking a look at this deck, it is an English fantasy artist, um, Scott Howden has created inspiring characters who share their bravery, strength, and wisdom in this enchanting oracle deck. These charming elves and magical beings are aided in their adventures by trusty animal companions. Let each of their stories lift your spirits, ignite your imagination, and fill your dreams with hope. It includes 49 cards and a 104-page illustrated guidebook. So let's pop this open and take a look. I absolutely love the artwork on this deck already. So here is our guidebook. And it is in color. Looks like we've got some words. Got a couple quotes in here as well. All right, let's get to looking at the cards themselves. Oh, I love this moon on the back here. Let me go ahead and get this cut open. There's always so much plastic wrap on all these cards. <laughs> all right, so we'll start here. I love this card. It is so pretty. I'm always a fan of the Fox decks. I wonder what the significance is of having two Kingfisher cards. I'll be interested to read further into the guidebook and learn more. I'm going to give these a good shuffle real quick, and then I want to see if it has a message to share with us. is they have a good weight to them. They feel like they'll hold up really well, but they have just enough flex in them that makes them easier to shuffle. One 
last little shuffle here. All right. So we have the Selkie, and the Shield Maiden, and Little Wings. So let's see what the guidebook says to see what message that it wants to come through. So we start with the Selkie, which is telling us to appreciate the moment, be aware of the now, and sense it, um, and your senses. See, in this moment of awareness and tranquility, um, use your senses in connection to the world. Above the sparkling ripples, wisps of mist rise, brushing the shoreline with silken tendrils. Um, and there's a quote from Walt Whitman that says, Happiness is not in another place, but this place. Not for another hour, but this hour. Um, so definitely being aware of the here and now and appreciating the moment. And then we'll look at the Shield Maiden, which is to adopt the warrior spirit, have courage, strength, and determination, and be adaptable. Um, there's a quote in here from Lauren Balf. It says, fate whispers to the warrior, you cannot withstand the storm, and the warrior whispers back, I am the storm. I love that. I absolutely love that. Um, <laughs> just being able to have courage to step out from the norm and pursue things that make you happy in the moment. And then our last card here is Little Wings. So this one is be inspired by a love of nature. So be receptive, use observation, and have inspiration. Um, and then there is a quote from Rachel Carson. It says, those who contemplate the beauty of the earth find reserves of strength that will endure as long as life lasts. Um, and it's one of those, it's telling you to spend time in nature. Um, because it's very restorative and inspiring and it just opens your senses to your wonderful like to wondrous sights smells and sounds of the natural world um, so <laughs> there's definitely a lot of like be in the moment relax but also have courage to pursue things that might scare you all right guys thanks for hanging out with me and i will talk to you again soon